if you guys are going to look at this last problem, it says cosecant of theta equals 2 pi over 3. One thing we need to remember is, what is cosecant? Cosecant of theta equals 1 over sine of theta, right? That's in your blue box. Cosecant of theta is the same thing as 1 over sine of theta. It's also, when we talked about our point T, we also understood that cosecant of theta is also, if sine is your y, then this is equal to 1 over your y. Right? We also talked about when you're talking about a point T, that it represents 1 over y, right? Because remember, sine is representative of your y. So I need to look at this and I say, all right, well, which one of these could I rewrite as 1 over, one over y is going to give me this final answer of 2 radical 3 over 2? And if you think about this, if you say 1 over 1 half, is that going to give me that answer? No. 1 over square root of 2 over 2, is that going to provide that answer? This? No. And But if I say the cosecant of 60 degrees, which would be... 1 over radical 3 over 2. Well, when I simplify this, I'm going to obtain this answer. So therefore, the cosecant of this coordinate point is going to be, theta is going to have to equal 60 degrees. Not seeing it. Cosecant, guys, is 1 over y, right? They're saying what, what theta, what theta does that, what point does that correspond to? What theta, what angle is that or correspond to as a point? Well, I could say, is it 1 over, if it was 30 degrees, it would be 1 over 1 half. Well, when you simplify that, that equals 2. That's not right. We're looking for 2 radical 3 over 3. If I do 1 radical 2 over 2 for 45 degrees, that would be 1 over radical 2 over 2. When I rationalize this denominator, um, that cancels out. I get square root of 2 when I rationalize the denominator and go through with it. Well, that's, again, not my answer. My final answer, if I do 60 degrees, if I do 1 over radical 3 over 2. You guys want me to do the work again? It looks like it. So I rationalize the denominator, I multiply by the reciprocal, I'm sorry, 2 over radical 3. This cancels to go to 1. So I'm left with 2 over radical 3. Now I rationalize the denominator, and therefore I get 2 radical 3 over 3. So that tells me when I take 1 over my coordinate, radical 3 over 2, 1 over this y, I obtain 2 radical 3 over 3. So what theta did I use? 60 degrees. So you can say that theta is equal to 60 degrees. Does that make sense? So therefore, guys, if I would have said cosecant of theta equals radical 2, you would have said theta equals 45 degrees, right? Or if I would have said cosecant of theta equals 2, you would have said, oh, theta equals 30 degrees. You guys see how all those answers for theta are different per your coordinate? So this is a little bit more difficult because you have to understand, well, what is, how did I get to that point? So you have to understand it's 1 over which y coordinate gives you that. Does that make sense?